All right, another quick little update for the channel. So this is a bison flat deck, uh, I guess you'd, I don't know if you'd call it technically a trailer or just the flat deck. Um, this I got uh, from a guy locally and I'm not sure, I may paint it up. I'm definitely gonna hit these spots. You can see, you know, from loading equipment, he used it with a skid steer. You know, there's quite a bit of bare metal that's just gonna rust. So I'm thinking I might peel the DOT sticker, you know, tape off off the sides here and just spray paint the whole thing black. Um, you know, not a big fan of the red. But I picked this up the other day. It was about an hour and a half each way. Uh, picked it up for three grand even. Um, spent probably $100 in fuel round trip. It was like 180 miles, something like that. Went through like three quarters of tank with the truck. Uh, but this goes right on uh, my bison trailer. Uh, it, I, he had a bumper pulled bison. I think he still has a 15 yard dumpster. I messaged the guy a while ago about it. Um, he had a bison bumper pull trailer, similar to mine, just, you know, obviously the bumper pull. I'm not sure if he had the auto tarp or um, what other options he had on it, but I had messaged him because he had this flat deck. He had a 15 yard dumpster, and then he also had, it was kind of like a storage container like a Connex box that he was using. He was a contractor, general contractor, and he was using that for kind of like mobile storage. He dropped that off and then the dumpster obviously for construction debris. Um, and then the flat deck was for moving heavy equipment, uh, his skid steer and I guess scissor lift and some other things he'd put on it. Uh, however, I guess it sounded like he just didn't use it enough or you know, at least maybe some of the pieces so he couldn't really justify having it sit there all the time so he wanted to get rid of it i messaged him about uh, i want to say four months ago maybe january february was when it first kind of popped up on facebook marketplace and i was like huh you know wouldn't be bad to have like another roll-off trailer just as like a backup um so i was like hey dude you know i'll trade you my dump trailer for the whole setup um and you know maybe some cash and I didn't really have any interest in the Connex box. Um, he wasn't interested in that. And then he was like, his pricing made no sense. So I was like, well, I'll trade you the dump trailer for, uh, you know, the flat deck and the dumpster, which I think they're like a year and a half, two years old, he said. And he wanted like my dump trailer plus like two grand or something on top of it. And I'm like, what? Like my dump trailer, I mean, New, it's a year old, new it's, you know, just over 10, like almost 11,000. It's in great shape. Um, you know, this this roll off uh, flat deck new, I think they're like five, six grand. The dumpsters, I mean, I have bought some this year, you know, from locally somebody else and brand new, paint it to my color, right? Cause his dumpster, everything else is red too, which, you know, I would have to repaint. Um, I think he, he wanted like 5,500 for it, which was like basically the price you could buy it new. So I was like, no dude, like it, yours is like two years old. It, you know, A, I gotta repaint it. And two, like, you know, it's got some dings and dents in it and stuff. I mean, yeah, it's just metal, but we're in the Northeast stuff for us. So like metal containers like that aren't gonna last forever. Um, so declined it. And then now that I got the excavator, I reached back out and I saw it again. He sold the trailer, but he still had the dumpster and the flat deck. So I messaged him on the flat deck. I think he was looking to get four for it. I was like, I'll, you know, I'll take it. I'll come this week and get it, you know, three grand cash. And here we are. So, um, worked out, have to see. I mean, there is, there is definitely some pros and, and cons of, of having this. I mean, obviously the pro, well, first pro is one. I mean, it was only three grand. Any equipment type trailer I was looking at was probably eight or 9,000. And that's a bumper pole, you know, 14K GVW, something like that. Um, gooseneck, you're talking 12, 13 grand, you know, new, you know, if you could find one used. But again, prices, I'm not gonna pay 
10 grand for a 10 year old trailer. I'd rather just spend like the extra two or three grand and buy it brand new at that point, have a warranty, not inherit somebody else's issues. You know, if the brakes are shot or wiring issues, things like that. Um, but so I, uh, that's, you know, definitely the pro, you know, it saved me a ton of money from having to buy it. Uh, two, right, it works with my trailer. So if I do get into demo or using the excavator, hopefully pretty soon for jobs, I can load it on this drop it off, come back, pick up a dumpster, drop the dumpster off, you know, load the dumpster up, take it away, come back. I don't have to drop the gooseneck, swap trailers and fart around and then rehook up to a different trailer. It can be uh, pretty easy going. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see how it works out. Um, you know, a couple of things, the only thing that kind of worries me with this, one is strapping it down and loading it, right? You gotta load it at a, pretty decent angle um, and then two uh, it's just for job sites right if I had a utility trailer I'm just on the road I just basically drive off the trailer and, uh, and I'm off this I physically have to drop in the road and so depending on the setup you know if they're on a main road it's gonna be kind of hard to you know drop this thing on a busy road get this you know excavator off and then hook it back up and load it back up i mean i'm hopeful that most jobs you know really i could drop it in their driveway and leave it there for the day that i'm there or something uh, but it it could be that's kind of like uh, the the only real negative that i could see with it and you know similar to a dumpster right i mean you have the two kind of casters on the back which the way this thing rolls off you know it it pretty much catches and rubs on that edge so as far as like protecting people's driveways or their lawns it's gonna be a little tricky i think i haven't tried with boards i just dropped it here because i had to get a dumpster and wanted to just get it off um but i think you know with boards it, it should be okay um but i guess you know that's the only negative with this trailer system you know with the flat deck that i could see but again the, the cost savings i'll see i mean worst case i can always relist this thing and i guarantee i'll be able to get what i paid for it um but yeah i think i'm going to repaint it and just go from there and kind of see see how it works out i still next step i still have to get some chains and binders too um so i can strap strap this thing down i also have to look at kind of like the manual on this um and i'm gonna pull uh, probably make a video in the next couple days kind of overview of this but you know there's a tie down on the back i'm guessing there's one on the other side too so i mean there's there's two i mean i guess there's one on the blade, you know, hook spot on the corner of uh, the blade on each side. So there's, you know, kind of four tie down spots and then you could always go across and then probably across the bucket too um, for a couple extra. Um, but yeah, that, uh, that about wraps it up for this one. I just want to do a quick video and, and kind of show you the, that, you know, Things are coming together as far as using this guy and, and getting some jobs with it.